Hey, this is David with Haggerty, and today we're doing something just slightly different than our normal projects. We have a good friend of mine here, and he has a very interesting car back here on a trailer. And Cam, what do we have other than a covered car? Right, uh, we got a 69 Mach 1. Ooh. Um, it was kind of a project that we never got to with my grandpa. Right. Um, my grandma told me that she was the last one to drive it from our shop back in the day, and they parked it at our old warehouse. And it's just been sitting ever since. And it was always the project that we never got to. We wanted to eventually, you know, get it running, maybe restore it down the road, change a couple things, but um, gotcha. it just sat and it got buried. Now, when you say project car, is this a rotted piece of poodoo that was in the... No, no, yeah. it's... Body-wise, it looks like an awesome car. Great right. shape. It just... I w it, I've told no accidents. It just got parked and... There it sat for the majority of my life. I, I've been told somewhere from 25 to 30 years it's been all right. sitting. So you're not throwing some bombshell on me here that it's no. like, all right, all right, cool. Well, let's, uh, let's get this cover off okay. and uh, let's see what we got. Can we start here? Yeah. It's got the taillights in it, so that's looking good. Ooh. Just lying around, huh? Yeah. Beautiful. A little, little dirty, but well, that's to be expected. She's been so how long has it been on the sitting in here on the trailer? Do you think? Um, like this, I, I moved it from our old warehouse um, onto this trailer. That had to be probably about 15 years ago. Really? Yeah. Wow. And we moved it over here. We, we changed warehouses from across town to over here. And it got sitting. And like I said, me and my grandpa, we'll do that next. We'll get to that car next. Right. Um, he was always messing with cars and projects. And it just kept getting pushed sure. pushed to the sure. side. And, uh, you know, things happened. And he ended up passing away and just kind of came across it the other day. And I was like, man, that'd be really cool to get going. And my grandma would really love to see it on the road again, cool. so. What an awesome, holy smokes. And here dude. she is, nice. just sitting around. So you've unloaded this car on me here. You're showing me this thing, it's gorgeous. I mean, from a, right. as it sits here for X amount of years. Now, looking at it's one thing, and since I'm not Tom Cotter, I don't like to just look at him with people. Okay. Um, what do you think we can get this running? You I game? Mean, yeah. You yeah, game? Absolutely. Because it's about getting in the shop and getting stuff done. So do you mind if we take this over to our shop? I would love nothing more. I've been itching for about 15 years to see this thing on the road. So that sounds awesome. Cool. All right. First thing, let's get this a little more in the daylight. Okay. And uh, let's see what it looks like underneath the hood. Start wrapping my head around some things and then... Uh, Let's tow it over there. All right, let's do it. Cool. Let's see what we got here. Man, I haven't seen it in the sun in ages. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice little 351 Windsor. Cool. All right. Well, you know what they say. The first thing is make sure she rolls over. Let's see. Sometimes. Oh, that's a good sign. So crank turns. All right. Okay. That's good enough for me to give it a shot. I'm excited. I am too. Well, let's get this Chevy <laughs> in the front in the front of this trailer and drag her back over to our shop. All right. We're good, right? All right. See you at the ranch. All 
All right, Cam. Well, we'll uh, we'll take good care of it for you. Cool. And uh, and then we'll give you a call and let you know when it's ready. Okay. How's that sound? <laughs> How easy is that? That sounds huh? ideal. But uh, I'll let you get back to work. Thanks for letting us. Uh, well, take your car, let alone use your trailer yeah. and your truck. So. No, thank you. Cool. I'm excited. I'm I. The thought of this being on the road is like too much to even comprehend. So. I bet. Yeah. I bet. All right, now we get to get to the really good stuff. So let's look at this. We can get the hood back open. Okay, so we briefly talked about this with Cam, um, but this is from a personal standpoint, and I mean my person and our group. We want a real quick payback, right? So we've been working all summer long. We got the Trail 70 running. And quite honestly, we're hooked. We want to see something else done quickly. So, and the weather is beautiful this fall. It's holding on. So we're going to take this in two weeks, turn it to where it's driving down the road and, and enjoying it again. So our first things first are, all we know is it turns over by hand and it's been parked for a long time. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through and just replace all the ignition stuff. 100% just to avoid a problem and be as, I'll say as quick as we can be. So fresh wires, fresh cap, fresh rotor. We're going to put a fresh points in it and a condenser. And um, quite frankly, I'm going to throw a coil at it. Now that's maybe a little bit more than you may or may not want to do, but at the same token, it will completely eliminate all those ignition problems. So as long as the key gets power to the ignition, you should have spark without any questions. Um, from there, we'll get it running. We'll put fresh gas, that type of stuff in it, fire it up and, uh, make sure it just doesn't puke its guts everywhere. Um, it looks like it's got a little bit of an oil leak here or there, but, uh, we'll, uh, clean things off to understand where it's at. And if it's something fairly quick and simple, we'll go ahead and do that. Valve cover gaskets are usually a big one, um, because they're cork and that's what cork gaskets do is leak. Then, uh, after that, we'll go through and replace hoses and uh, make sure they're nice and you know good. These aren't bad by any means uh, as far as like brittle and cracking, but we want to drive this down the road. It'd be nice to have some good faith that it's not going to reach temperature and then blow antifreeze everywhere. So we will replace the heater lines and this little um, bypass hose, upper hose, the lower hose, I'm not real sure what condition this radiator is in. Um, I guess we're going to kind of play that one by ear. So we may put fluid in it and find that we have a little leak on the radiator, but we'll address that as we go. Um, get it so it sits here and runs, idles, and doesn't overheat uh, from that aspect. And then we'll assess the driving function. So the key words in driving is, as a friend of mine says, stop and pull over. So we got to have brakes and we have to be able to steer it. So we'll, we'll look at those, get the wheels off, look at what the brakes look like, make sure the wheel cylinders aren't puking all over and they're not seized up. Um, I see a little bit of oil maybe in the right rear corner, just kind of taking the chains off it. So we might have a wheel seal back there, but that's not horrendous either. And uh, basically get it so we can drive it down the road. And I think we might be able to surprise his grandma too, because sounds like she would be pretty pumped to see this, um, not only in the sunlight, but moving down the road. And I hear she's got a little bit of a lead foot. So according to Cam, <clears throat> maybe I shouldn't say that, but uh, that's what I hear. So that's our plan. Get a list together. And I'll, quite frankly, I'm going to put Rock Auto to the test because they say they got parts for all kinds of cars. So with that, we're going to end this episode with... I want to see if it'll run right now. Let's get this out of the way. There's no hood insulation to catch on fire. That's a good sign. All right. This over here. That's a whopping pizza pan. What's that? Nothing living in the air thing. That's no good. Here's our battery. Now this is out of our engine test then. We'll have to take our terminals off. But...
let's double check and make sure we have we have some oil actually it's kind of topped off and black so that's good now of course there's always a concern that we're going to fire this up the bearings are all going to be dry and it's going to whoop everything out well here's what we're going to do we're going to spin it over minus coil wire so it does not try to fire but at least kind of spin things around and get some oil pressure going so we'll do that here's my coil wire all right we got interior lights hey the radio turns on that's a good sign okay let's give that starter just a second let's do one more crank and then i'll hook up the coil wire again off a little bit now this is truly if I were to write a for sale sign for this from talking with cam this is a ran when parked so ran when parked means everything is still there right Everything's still connected. Cool. That might be interesting to see what we get there, but I tell you what, I'm gonna have Jordan, my expert key turner. Uh, Jordan, just take and uh, crack the throttle just a little bit and spin it over. I bet our points are corroded as hell. But we can check it. But I would bet our points are pretty well cooked. I'm just going to clean the points real fast. Again, I'm not trying to fix the problem per se, other than I'd love to hear it. So just a little. Just clean up them contact surfaces just enough. This is a more of, a, can I make it work real fast? No, we're not getting any spark. Well, bummer. I was really hoping it would fire right up, but yeah, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but it spins over clean, so that's good. Um, I'm going to get my parts ordered and I'm going to get them put on. So then next week you are going to hear this run. So, uh, I'm going to get to my stuff. You're going to go get to your stuff, go get your stuff done. And we'll see you right back here next week when this is running. Deadline. We're making deadlines. <sighs> yeah, buddy. <laughs>